Yo, what's up guys, it is Saints fan and welcome back to another episode of Monday Mailbox, a series where you guys get to ask me questions about GTA or gaming in general. And if you guys do want to ask me a question, just go follow me on Twitter because pretty much every Monday I tweet out and then you guys can ask me there. Get into the first question, this is not GTA related, but I wanted to get this one out the way because in three days on Thursday, I'm pretty sure, the Battlefront or Star Wars Battlefront beta comes out. And it's open to the public. I'm pretty sure it's on every console as well. Well, the, the newer consoles, not last gen. But Dre wants to know, are you going to be playing Battlefront? I'm too excited, especially with the beta in a couple days. And dude, yes, I am. I loved Battlefront 2 way back in the day. And I know this one isn't as much like it as people would have wanted. But it's still Star Wars and it's still Battlefront. So I'm pumped. And honestly, for me, I haven't been that much into a first person shooter for a few years i mean i've done a little bit of csgo lately i've done a little bit of call of duty battlefield was one i did for a little bit but i haven't really had one like modern warfare 2 or black ops 1 where i literally played it like non-stop i don't know what you guys but ever since gta came out it just felt like there wasn't one out there and i know destiny kinda but destiny i wouldn't really classify it as a competitive first person shooter just because i I at least enjoy Destiny more for the PvE and not the PvP. Obviously, everybody has their own opinions, but uh, I want to ask you guys in the comments and let me know, are you excited for Battlefront? Do you care? I mean, the one good thing that we can sort of relate to GTA with it is that it's a first slash third person shooter, which GTA is, although it's obviously open world and it's a lot different. But in Battlefront, you can either play first or third person. And a lot of people are going to be playing third person, I think, just because from some of the videos I've seen, it, it appears that's better. And in GTA, you know, we play third person. So although it's not a sandbox MMO, you know, it's it's similar. And I definitely am going to be posting videos, so I just wanted to see what your guys' opinions on that were. All right, now get into the GTA questions from Kazushi. Do you think we will ever get new taunts slash actions in future updates? I hope so. It's kind of weird because they really stopped doing them the past few updates. I mean, they were something that weren't obviously the, the star of the DLC. Like, they weren't... Um, promoting that and and featuring that but it was something that's fun that just added a little bit of goofiness I guess to the game that you could that your character could do and I mean there's a ton of animations already in the game if you guys have ever played PC or have seen somebody with PC with a mod menu there's a ton so I I hope so I mean it doesn't hurt anybody so there's that next question from busted gaming what do you think is Rockstar's next step to ban modders in GTA online and I actually saw about a week ago that on the last or on the newer gen consoles, Rockstar actually made temporary characters a thing again. If you guys remember from way, way back in the day when they had server issues, if it couldn't load your regular character, it would actually give you a temporary character, which like the name suggests, it's temporary, like nothing saves or anything. And apparently a lot of these modders and stuff, they're using these temporary characters to you know, do all their, their modding and everything in, in online. So if you guys have seen an increase of modders lately on the next-gen systems, that is why. The next step to ban all the modders, look, even on PC, they've done a lot. At the end of the day, the modders are going to win. Like, there's just, there's no stopping them. I don't think there are many games out there that have a 100% anti-cheat system. Like, there's always a way around it. One thing they could do to try and help, and I think this would work a little bit. I mean, there would still be some people in regular or in the regular gta online but if they were to make a sandbox mode or something where people could use mods and it's unranked and, you know nothing saves no, your character may not even be there i don't know just like literally throw the map down and let us just go in and play and, and mess around in a in an actual sandbox no restrictions nothing i think that would solve a lot of issues now it's probably never going to happen but that's the problem with gta players like just from past games we just have had so much freedom we've had no limitations to do stuff gta 4 your complete sandbox game and I, I think a lot of people enjoy that a lot and that's why they do wind up modding because if they get a ton of money then they don't need to worry about it and they can literally blow it all you know, blow people up, do whatever, not have to worry about anything. That's why way back in the day when they had the $9 billion bounty days, everybody was so happy because nothing mattered pretty much. So I think that's kind of a reason. I mean, again, it's not going to solve it 100%, but that's my best answer to that question. 
Next question from Jorge. Do you think we would have seen a story mode DLC by now if GTA Online wasn't the big success that it is? I think we would have. And I'm going to say this, and I just want to put this disclaimer. I don't know any of the people at Rockstar. They, they're, I'm sure they're amazing people. But just from a consumer from the outside point of view, from somebody who's played and, and you know watched the game since the beginning, I just feel, and I don't know, maybe you guys in the comment section feel the same way. Maybe you don't. Let me know. I just feel that they're more focused on making these gta online dlcs because they one are easier to make they don't take as much work and time as a 10 to 15 hour story mode dlc that adds a new character and potentially even a new map obviously that takes a lot more work and effort and a lot more people probably too where the gta online dlcs a few cars a few clothes you know a few guns maybe throwing some extra stuff here and there I'm sure that doesn't take that much time and it's fairly easy to do in terms of making DLC for a game. And I kind of see where Rockstar is coming from. They want to, you know, pursue this, this GTA Online, this new project, this new idea that they have. And that's fine and everything. I have no problem with that. But GTA as a franchise is known for its incredible stories and its incredible characters. And especially with GTA 4 having, you know, two of some of the best DLCs ever, I don't think it's fair to not give people who just play GTA for the story and for the single player a DLC. I mean, you could argue that GTA 5 by itself, it had three characters, it had a ton of story, you know, a as a single player experience, it was incredible. But like I said, people are just so accustomed to having, you know, these, these awesome DLCs with Rockstar Games and what we've seen in GTA Online, they're good, they're just not awesome. So that's sort of my opinion. I know I kind of went off on a rant there, but I could be wrong, like I said, but just from the outside point of view, that's what I see it as. Now the final question from Danny. Before GTA 5 came out for last gen, what were you looking forward to most about the game based off of trailers, leaks, etc.? Funny enough, I wasn't actually that into like all the leaks and trailers and stuff. I mean, yeah, I watched them and I was excited for the game, but I wasn't as hyped like I am now for Fallout 4 coming out. Like I'm super excited about Fallout 4, but I don't have I didn't have that hype level, I guess, for GTA 5, which is weird because I mean, I, every GTA game I played was amazing. And at the time, I don't know if anybody here even followed me back then, but I was playing a lot of Minecraft. That's what my YouTube channel was based on. And then obviously once I started doing GTA videos and stuff, a lot of people subscribed and everything. That's And that's how I'm here now. But it's weird because, yeah, I wasn't really like, oh my God, this is going to be the greatest game of all time, you know, before the game came out way back in the day. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe so you don't miss these every single Monday. And again, if you want to ask a question, go follow me on Twitter and then you can tweet it at me. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.